First of all, let's take a look at the location of this test. We zoomed in on Google Earth, and we tested it in Shenzhen's Dapeng Bay. It is used to simulate the long-range wireless video transmitter and receiver application at sea. Both the transmitter and receiver are at a very low altitude. The location of our transmitter and camera is marked as the transmitter on Google Earth, which is located on a sea viewing platform in Demetia Seaside Park, Yantian, Shenzhen. Please note that this is the beach, you can see it on the receiver's monitor later. Although we don't have a ship to go 20 kilometers away from the shore for testing, we can find a place about 20 kilometers across the sea to receive the wireless video signal from the transmitter. Our receiver is located on the side of the coastal road. We can see that the two locations distance is 20.57 kilometers through the measurement tool of Google Earth. I will also show the test environment of the transmitter and the receiver in the specific video later. Now let's go back to the transmitter and see how to assemble the antenna, camera, and power. We connect the transmitter antenna first, this is very important as there is a powerful amplifier built in. If the antenna is not connected and the power is turned on directly, the power amplifier is easy to be burned. Then use the HDMI cable to connect the camera and the transmitter, this model support HDMI input only, we also customize it if you need SDI or IP camera input. Then connect the transmitter to the power supply and turn it on. The transmitter can be put on the floor, but try to place the transmitter antenna in the highest position possible, always keep the transmitter antenna in a vertical state to achieve the best transmission effect. Now we show the video of the transmitter and receiver on the same screen, you can see that even if the distance is 20 kilometers, their positions are all near the sea, our HDMI wireless video transmitter system can transmit very well, and the video picture is clear and the signal is stable. This device is HDMI one-way unidirectional wireless video and data transmission system, we also have a two-way bidirectional wireless video data control transmission for IP cameras and control of the unmanned ship or drone. Please see our other test video on the same day. On the receiver, we can use one antenna or two antennas to enhance the reception. Let's take a closer look at the location of the receiver, which is next to the coastal road opposite the transmitter and camera. If you have any project that needs to use wireless video, data and control transmitters and receivers, please contact us, info at ivecan.com. We will simulate your usage scenarios as much as possible to test whether our equipment can meet your requirements. Thanks for your time to watch our test video. If you are interesting, please go on to see our more test video here for these devices.